Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Lexi. Today I'm going to show you how to make a gluten-free pizza. It's also keto friendly. Shout out to you, Brad Ness, for sharing this recipe with me. I hope I do your recipe justice. You'll have to let me know how I did. So the nice thing about this recipe is that it's gluten-free, keto friendly, and delicious. The nice thing about this crust as well is that you don't need a lot of ingredients. We're just going to use some almond flour, some cheese, an egg, and a little bit of seasoning. So in the bowl, we're going to take three quarters of a cup of almond flour. Next, we're going to do one and three quarters of a cup of mozzarella right in the bowl. I'm just going to give this a nice little stir and then we're going to microwave this for a minute until it gets all melted. So this is how it all looks now that I've got it all nice and melted. I did it in 30 second increments and just gave it a stir. And then I ended up doing it for a minute and 20 seconds. To give the crust a little bit more flavor, I'm gonna add some Italian seasoning, about a teaspoon of Italian, and about a teaspoon of salt. Go ahead and mix that together. A fork is the easiest just to get it all nice and incorporated. Now, I'm gonna add one egg. And this will take a little bit of time to get this egg incorporated. So just be patient with it. Just smush it together until it's all nice and incorporated. So we're gonna preheat the oven to 425. Okay, I got my dough all mixed together. So what I'm gonna do is I've got a silpat here. If you don't have one of those, that's okay. Put some parchment paper down. Whatever you've got, really. Then, put another layer on top. Kind of smush it down a little bit. And then we just roll it out to the desired thickness of your pizza. Now, the reason I'm doing it like this, in between parchment paper and a silpat, is so that it doesn't stick and get all crazy all over your rolling pin. Makes it a lot easier. So. Take the top layer off, and then I'm just gonna put this right on my baking sheet. Look at that, so easy. Now I'm gonna bake this in a 425 degree oven for about eight minutes, and then we'll take it out and we'll top it. This is how it looks coming out of the oven. Now it's ready for toppings. So what I'm gonna do is just some good old fashioned pizza sauce. Now you can put any kind of toppings you want. It's your pizza, make it the way you want. This is just what I'm gonna do. Next, I got some ground beef. I'm gonna add that to the pizza. Give it some protein. Next, I got some peppers cut up. Put some peppers on. Then, I got some onions because onion adds a great flavor to everything. And last but not least, the cheese. You can't forget the cheese. Okay, the pizza's all topped. It's ready to go back in the oven. Now we're just gonna cook it for another five minutes until it gets nice and bubbly. I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it into squares. So my dad just got home from work and he gets to join in on the taste test. Here we go. Mmm, that's really good. That is really good. Brad Ness, wow. thanks for this recipe. You guys gotta try this too. The crust, I would never know that it's not gluten. Well. Gluten free? It's gluten free. Wow, it's really good for gluten free. See, it's a winner. We're gonna go ahead and finish our dinner. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Cooking with Lexi.